and here comes Gracie again. Alright, so I'm Zerfall. I'm Grimgore. And if you recall, this is day two. It is. Good morning. Don't you look swell today? Actually swollen. Uh, wait, swollen? What's she looking at? I don't know. So have some. There's a fresh coffee pot on the table. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh, it always does that. Never mind. <laughs> she keeps making these half innuendos. Yeah. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> he's so impressed. Bro, really, he's in his own house. He just got up. Does he need to take this crap? Yes, he does. So, leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Leah Getty? So apparently, she went home and just did tons of research. Oh, she did get her address, though. And <laughs> she's a, he's a, here a little out of your league, hey, big fella. <laughs> the Gettys own three local hospitals. Just to name a few of their assets, they run a very high circle. Did you get an address, even though you said you just did? I got the address. I suppose it's nothing to do with the fact that Malia Getty is, in, is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. I love them for the money and their bodies. And that address is... Hey, far be it for me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557... West Ingram. That's the in the Garden District. Estate City. That's all I wanted to know. And yes, my dear, Leah Getty is the most dangerous looking diversion I've ever seen. Ouch. I don't... Apparently that was a burn? Yeah. <sighs> Man. Apparently she's just upset she doesn't look as dangerous. Well, let's start by reading the newspaper and see what they say about the murders today. Oh, well, that's right, because that one cop was very sure that we'd read about it in the paper. Yes. Yes, he was. Today's newspaper's on the counter. Apparently I think I have we have to, to gear it. it. He so, learns nothing new, because he was already there. Yes, he was, and he found more clues than the cops. Is there anything else in the paper, though? Article, who guys are still crying, is faked. It's real enough to him. History of Jackson Square. Says lots of mimes. Used for executions. Oop, here's his horoscope. Chance of a dark star rising on this day. Do not trust your instincts. I don't feel Dark Star Rising, all right. It's is he is he talking about his penis? <laughs> That's what his nickname for it is. We got points for that though. That's the important part. All right. So our buddy told us that if we head off to the police station, we yeah, can talk about the murders. So let's door the door. And what type of police station? I guess. I'm not sure we'll end up at Getty's place eventually. I find it kind of amusing that their name is Getty. Yeah, I think they're the murderers. I don't <laughs> trust anybody with the name Getty. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh... He's right here. Oh, sweet ride, I missed it. Oh, there's a repairman here now. There is. I'm sure we'll get up to some shenanigans with him. Oh, we probably could have broke in last night because the alarm system was down. But we wasted our time sleeping and having nightmares. Aw. Oh. Alright, let's talk to the cop and see where Mosley is. I wish his name was Mosley. Hopefully we don't get the donut wagon. What can I do for you? That wasn't his voice. Let me try to remember here. We need to see Detective Mosley. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. And again, Mosley. He's in his office. We're going back. Sure thing, Batman. <laughs> Batman's more of a, I'm the goddamn Batman. You must have friends. 
All right, so now we're allowed to just walk up we where are, we want in the station. We can just go behind the desk I'm there. I'm sure we have to door the door, though. That's the way this CR style game works. So one thing I want to do before we head all the way back is go mess with that repairman guy's stuff. So let's gear the whatchamacallit on the wall there. That looks like a thermostat. Probably. Or a light switch. Let's crank that. that up. It is cranked up. It's All on the way. No, I turned it down. And I got points. Well, that must be fine then. Yeah, it was already up all the way, so we're going to crank it all the way down. To 50, which I'm pretty sure is halfway to boiling. We want it on 90? Let's crank it all the way up. Okay. Oh, we already got our points for it. Alright, so we're going into his office. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, oh, this is tedious. Okay, here we go. So whenever any animation is going on, I have to remember not to move the mouse. He had to check in the window first, in case the other cop was lying. Mostly, my man. Yeah, yeah. What is it, you wanker? He's British now? That wasn't British at all. Oh, I guess wanker. Maybe he is British. <sighs> it's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Dang, the air conditioner must be on the brink. Are you hot? Man, I'm hot. His voice changes every sentence. So, I guess we need to talk to him. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Well, let's see. I like his 5 o'clock shadow at 1 in the morning. That's not one. I say we ask him for some coffee. How will give me some coffee? I came in here because you invited me to <laughs> get me some coffee. <laughs> Should that surprise you? Nah, you've always been a caffeine addict. It's just that what we've got here hardly qualifies. He's desperate. Desperate for some coffee. So we have to finish talking first. That long? Oh, no, never mind. Man, Gabriel's a dick. He He's is. Like, you're my friend, you're doing me a favor. Now All this get shit. me some coffee. Yeah. So I take it we're supposed to rifle through his jacket? Yep, we gotta be as big as dick as possible. Okay, I gotta stop moving this mouse well. Don't, Don't touch, touch anything it. while I'm gone. I wonder what we're supposed to do. Touch stuff. Well, he's gone. And probably not get caught. Yes. Or else it'll be game over. So. I see. It looks like a watch. I think I'll just badge. borrow this badge. Oh, get back. Sit back down, Gabriel. Get your ass kicked. Hey, what are you doing with my coat? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I thought I saw something crawling on it. He is a great liar. And the other guy's totally like, I'm not going to check if my badge is still there. Just drink this. It's really hot in here. Now drink this hot coffee. Now throw it in his face. <laughs> I don't want this. <laughs> Just a sip. Alright, so we kind of have to ask him some questions about the murders and stuff, don't we? Oh, probably. Such as... Alright, let's see what we got. He must know let's something. See. Let's ask about voodoo. There's voodoo going that goes on in this city, that's sure. That looks into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff on this crime scenes is all faked. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know. I have some experts. It's intimidation tactics, that's all. Maybe you know something about the murders. And what do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. Can you be more specific? Alright, oh, look at all this stuff. Alright. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of towns. We still don't know why. 
Any witnesses? Nope. Joe Testa. It's damn weird. You're the most lifelike corpses I've ever seen in my life. What does the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Temple of Doom. It's Temple of Doom. Solve the case. I don't even want that. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy edge blade. Or Chris? Probably ritualistic. Yeah. Scrap it. Crap seeds. There's the corpse itself minus the heart on which the body was killed. Find marks. In flower and blood. Flower, eh? Why are we Pillsbury Doughboy. Solve the case. Moving on. <laughs> So, leopard, leopard fur. fur. Like leopards from a nightmare. How many murders have there been? Seven. Wow, that's more than I expected, actually. Oh, they don't mess around. There we go. Anything but the killers? Probably not. Oh, footprints. So, I guess the footprints would be good if they had a suspect, but they don't, so it's hard to... So casual in their expertise. It's because they're ghost leopards. Hold on a second. Okay, so we skipped a whole bunch here because Fraps was Fraps and Frapped it up. But um, pretty much what happened was he said we could get some we could, sort of we could take a look at the other murder pictures. Yes. Of which there are six. There's six of them. And also, uh, this officer, Frank, that's sitting here has quite the gams when she's up and walking around. You would. Hey, maybe nice just rubbing off on me. So, <laughs> we should have it in our possession right now. The file. We'll open it up. So here are the other ones. It looks like awkward stick figure porn. Partial patterns from the first six voodoo murders. Can we do anything with it? Can I sketchbook them? Can I do anything? Oh, magnify it? See, just fine. Put this back. That's what that up arrow means. It means put it back. Sketchbook. So, I guess that's all we get. Are we supposed to draw them ourselves? Well, whatever we can do, we can't take photocopies. I'm assuming if you want to get some paper and draw them, you could, but I don't think it's going to matter much. So what, we just look at them and give them back? Yep. Put them on the uh, table, I guess. How was that me grabbing the tweezers? That made no sense. What the heck is going on? Okay, wait a second. The mouse has technically moved. There we go. Play. No, not question marks. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Okay. So come back here. I'm, I'm done. done. Jinx. Yeah, thanks. I've been waiting for you to be done all day. And let's head back to Mosley's office. Really? Yep. Door that door. Did we forget something in there? Well, ask him for a, a photograph. Oh, I saw that option before. Yes. You know, for the book. A photograph of him? I want to see what exclamation point does when talking to him. How's it hanging, bud? Lousy. Like, there's all sorts of louses up in there. It's terrible. People are sick. But starting to get that impression. Okay, so for most people that actually doesn't do much. I guess if they're not a talking head, then you can use it on them. Alright, so let's see what we can get about these photographs. I got those photographs you left for me. 
Really? Great! What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for the book? Hmm. A cop author photo might be nice. A cop slash author photo is what he actually said. You and me? Together? Yeah! <laughs> Why not? Of course you'll have to try to tone down your masculinity. The police photographer is going to take your official author book photo, picture photo. Something tells me we're going to impersonate a police officer later. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, we got points, so it's obviously the right thing to do. Thanks. Come in here a minute, would you? Apparently she is. She does everything in this department. Yep, she runs the... It's like, who else is there? Well, there's Fat Cop, but <laughs> he's fat and doesn't do anything. What'd you need, Detective Mosley? We need a picture, please. I'm making a good one, eh, sweetheart? See, apparently this is supposed to be like 1993, but... Or 1996? What was it? Either way... Sexual harassment. Was there anything else in that? Let's take another one. Christ. Okay, one more. Franks? Ready? Smile. Anything else? We'll just work our way down the left. Uh, go outside and check your hair. <laughs> Hold on a sec while I go check my hair. Good God, Knight, make it fast. Alright. That's so what we're gonna head said. back outside. Let's get a little sneaky here. So let's oh, pick up that file. I see where you're going with and this. And there's a photocopier. It's the perfect crime. Because Fat Cop won't do anything, even if... <laughs> Let me see that file again, mysterious no person at the desk. Hey, Fat Cop, turn around. Rawr, I can't. All right, so we need to get our file out. Oh, the tweezers. Okay. One, two, three, click. Play with the hook up here. <laughs> Just want to check the machine here. <laughs> He's so sneaky. Well, let me just nonchalantly do some stuff. Oh, <laughs> they never suspected a thing. Fat cop is actually just sitting there drawing hand turkeys. <laughs> and then let's just put that back on the desk. I almost sprayed water everywhere thanks to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't foot a door that doesn't open it. Would you just get in here? Hurry up, would you? Hey son, let me know when you get him jumped. Or, uh, photos that is. I think he was talking about breasts. <laughs> Which is odd, because she's actually rather shapely already. Well, maybe... <laughs> oh, I shouldn't make such a better joke. No. Uh, Take two. <laughs> ah, I took some pictures of some native girls, but they were underdeveloped. Awful. <laughs> it's a classic from back Awful. in the day. All right. But whatever, I think we are done here. Yes. All right, let's... You can't foot a door. Oh, I can't foot a door. I wish you would learn. Got a door, a door, and foot a foot. Well, I'll be seeing you. Later night. You should have said goodnight. You can always know the day. All right. We'll door this door, and then once we get to the map... Actually, let's right now save it. Um, and you can see our save file already named because we almost died. Literally died. Like, the, if this had crashed, that would have been the end of the series, I think. Saved. Perfect. Okay. So, next time we come back, we're going to have to... 
First off, let's... What am I doing? Okay, let's... Alright, when we come back next time, uh, we have to figure out something about our patterns that we found. So I'm figuring we have to go to that museum where the doctor was coming back the next day. We gotta go somewhere. Alright, anyways, I think that's what we're gonna try next time. Uh, I'm Zerfall. I'm Grimgore. And let's hope to God nothing else crashes ever again. See ya.